Shooting at a Wendy's restaurant that stunned Omaha, a sound man from the hit show Cops killed in our city in the summer of 2014. Now the family of Bryce Dion is suing the city of Omaha, claiming it was negligent in protecting him. Emily Zink is live with details tonight. Emily? Today, Dave Domina, the family's attorney, told me that Dion's parents are paralyzed by pain of their son's death, and his brother Trevor is trying to stay strong. Domina says he believes Dion's death was preventable. 43, we have one of the cops guys has been hit by gunfire. We need a squad here now. We need multiple squads, two squads. In August of 2014, 38-year-old cop sound man Bryce Dion showed up to a robbery at Wendy's near 43rd and Dodge with Omaha police officers. The witnesses described hearing the suspect's handgun being fired and seeing the slide recoil with the shots. Police Chief Touchwater says the suspect, Cortez Washington, started firing his gun at officers. It was later discovered that Washington had an airsoft gun. Officers fired back, killing Washington and accidentally striking and killing Dion, who was in the restaurant's vestibule. I don't think Bryce Dion signed up for the risk of being shot by a police officer. Omaha attorney Dave Domina says Langley Productions, the producers of the TV show Cops, were invited by the Omaha Police Department. He says the law makes police officers bear a special responsibility to invitees, and they owe them protection. The assignment was uh, travel with us, film with us, uh, hopefully get some coverage that is complimentary to Omaha police officers and use it on your program. On behalf of the Dion family, Domina has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Omaha. In the suit, the family asked for general damages in $15,000 in special damages, including funeral costs. Domina says this isn't about money. It's about Dion's death counting for something. This is not a case that's driven by anger. It's driven by intense sadness. In his claim, Domina states multiple acts of negligence by the Omaha Police Department, including the department not providing adequate training, supervision, or protection to Dion and his crew. I think we were a little bit surprised, uh, but not unexpected. City Attorney Paul Kratz says as of Thursday afternoon, they had not been served, but they knew about the suit. We don't believe we're liable in this case, and so we're, we plan on vigorously defending the case. Domina says the city now has 30 days to respond to that lawsuit. Last year, OSHA did an extensive investigation into Dion's death. OSHA couldn't establish all the criteria needed to issue a citation, but they did identify workplace hazards. OSHA sent Langley Productions a hazard alert outlining six recommendations, one of which involved instructing and training employees on how to properly wear the bulletproof vest the company provides. Dion was wearing a vest at the time he was shot. A grand jury investigation investigation was launched following Cortez Washington and Bryce Dion's death. Three officers were fired their, excuse me, fired their weapons multiple times that day. In March of 2015, a grand jury cleared Detective Darren Cunningham, Officer Brooks Riley, and Officer Jason Wilhelm of any wrongdoing. And lastly, in an, argue, in an agreement, excuse me, written between Langley Productions and the City of Omaha, Langley Productions agreed they would not hold the city responsible for employees killed or injured while taping the show in Omaha. In return, the Omaha Police Department agreed to give cops crews access to officers. Live in the News Center, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News. Now